Now then YouTube, I am the tough man and I've got to start out by saying a big big sorry and an apology uh, to everyone expecting my thoughts on the Spain versus Italy game. Um, to be honest I can't fully comment on what happened in that game because as many people know I'm involved with a, a football manager 2012, Euro 2012 live stream that's been happening since Sunday up until up until now and um, because I've been involved in that because it kicked off uh, round about the the final time um, I, I had one eye on the final and one eye on what was going on you know on the on the live stream um, as it happened it started on Monday rather than the Sunday because everything messed up but uh, it's, it's going all right it's, it's not going too badly especially for me I've won both of my games so far I'm going into the final group game tonight um, against Croatia and if I manage to beat Croatia and um, so if Adam Afondra beats Italy then Ireland is still through so it's really it's coming to the crux of things tonight anyway um, running through the, the, the Spain versus Italy game on what there was what I saw Spain were in control right from the start so right what are you doing Kat? Spain were in control right from the start to the finish, you know, everything that I said and, and, and you know, I criticise Spain for how they played to get to the final, but when they play a final as good as they did, they deserve to win it. I mean, they were absolutely in control and people keep saying to me, you know, England aren't Spain, right? They should play their own game. Well, I'm sorry, but Spain's way of playing, the, especially in the final there, Spain's way of playing football needs to be learned, in my opinion. It needs to be learned. Number one, to stop Spain, because they're just going to be in control of the fucking whole world football from now until somebody has the balls to actually stand up to them and win by playing their own game against them. Number two, um, I've forgotten what number two was. So, yeah. <laughs> number two is, you know what I mean? What the fuck's a cat up to? You know what I mean? I try to do some recording, fucking cat starts, straight away. Straight away. Yeah, number two, so we don't look like idiots. Um, the, the thing is, Spain's tactics getting to the final were shaky at best, I tell you. They, they, they got the results, they got to the final, and fuck me, they scored about as many goals as what they did in the final as to what they did for the whole fucking tournament. Torres getting golden boot, how, how, how ironic is that when the guy came on twice as a fucking substitute? Uh, was it twice or three times? I don't know, I forget. But anyway guys, I, like I said, I can't really comment very much on the game itself. I see some of the goals that were scored. Jordi Alba, what a fucking player he is. And uh, now he's joined Barcelona and there's no stopping that team. There really is no stopping that team. And Chelsea were lucky that time. They really were lucky to stop them. Anyway, guys, going on to... I'm going to do the top five because I'm a little bit pushed for time at the minute. I do apologise to everybody uh, recently because with the live stream, trying to keep up with my um, recordings and keep everything running on that side as well. And as well as the most recent... Uh, thing that's happened is me joining the air stocky team. There's a little bit of work that I've got to do on the website over there. Um, th it's all getting a little bit too much at the minute for me and I'm finding stuff that's being pushed aside. One of them at the minute is the toss versus the subs. That won't be starting now until the end of this live stream. I really haven't got the time uh, to be able to put that into my schedule anywhere. I've tried my best but I've just got, I haven't got the time to do it. I'm, I'm really sorry on that front. Um, the other thing is the football manager Groomsby Borough. I'm not doing that until the live stream is finished as well. Um, <clears throat> somebody mentioned to me, am I still doing that thing with the Game of Thrones with a book? I will, but like I said, everything else is just being pushed to one side at the minute because I'm losing around about three to four hours in an evening when I'm when I'm on the live stream and doing the bits there. So. Um, when when the live stream is finished and stopped and sorted, then you know work starts back on my channel and uh, trying to get everything back with the way it is. Some people have been asking me whether or not I'm going to do a playthrough on the uh, the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. 
I'm not quite sure about that yet. I'm a bit up in the air about that. Not only, you know, it's a very good game, don't get me wrong, but that kind of series, A Night with a Toff, is me just basically going through the old games in the past. And uh, for me to start a new series, it means one has to give way. There's going to be a video shortly after this one that follows about my Minecraft Season 3, for anybody that's interested, of course. Um, that, unfortunately, has fallen by the wayside. There's something that's happened to the Minecraft Season 3 that's, you know, beyond my control. And uh, it looks like my rendering has just finished, so I'm going to wrap it up now and, uh, and get things uploaded for you guys so you can see what's going on. Yeah, there's uh, something that's happened to me in Minecraft Season 3 and it's irretrievable, I can't get back into it, it won't let me get back in. Uh, there's some problem with uh, one of the updates that I've done and it's basically fucked everything up again. I really should put, you know, uh, do some update, uh, do some like backups of what I've done, but I think it's, the, the what's happened is I use uh, Multi-MC and I think something's happened within the Multi-MC that's just fucked it all up. Um, which is a bit of a bummer because I believe, if I if I remember right, my Thorncraft tutorial world is on the multi MC, so it looks like I've lost that as well. I hope not, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, I've been the Top Man, and uh, oh yeah, the Top Five. You want the Top Five, don't you, fellas? The whole reason why I said I was going to do this video. In fifth place with 201 points, Sunny P with We Try FC. Uh, 201 points, massive 201 points there. Um, in fourth, Joe Mewis with his team Mewis's Mafia, M Mafia, sorry, with 203 points in fourth place. Alan J with his team the A team in third with 203 points. Aaron C with his team Crocs FC has stayed up there for a long, long time in second place now with 207 points, but a massive seven points in front is Chris Martin with the team West Town FC. He managed to win the whole thing with 214 points total. And uh, as you guys know, as I always say, there was, in fact, around about 25, 26,000 people, you know, website-wide on this thing. And Chris Martin with his team West Town FC there, 214 points. Congratulations to him for finishing 140th through the whole of the website. Absolute great achievement there, and Crocs, in Crocs FC there, in 376th, so very, very good indeed. And just to let you guys know that um, top of the league, we got it was 237 points, so not that far away, West Town FC. Good stuff there. I have no idea where I finished, to be honest, because I haven't even looked. Um, I know that I put Torres in, so I'm expecting some points from him. Where did I go? I have no idea. All I know is, I think I finished ahead of my cousin, which is good. I'm just having a look for myself here now, fellas. Oh, there I am. Um, 123 points. I was massively behind everybody there, but uh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, well. So that wraps up the, uh, the Euro 2012 little thing that we had going there. It was a great pleasure to be able to do that thing with you guys. And um, I'm looking, and this is only, you know, looking at the minute because it requires, you know, yet more work from myself as well. But I'm looking to start something very similar in the Premier League when the Premier League starts back around. But there's a while before that comes yet. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Anyway, guys... I've been the top man for anybody who's taken part. Thank you very much. It's been um, it's been great. It has been absolutely wonderful. And for people who are still interested, the Football Manager live stream starts again tonight. Uh, it goes live at half past seven every night, I believe. Um, th there has been some issues. There's usually been you know technical difficulties and stuff as we're going through, but that's to be expected. To be honest, for anything like this, uh, the scale and magnitude of something like this, it's bound to come with its problems. It really is bound to come with its problems. So you know, take it with a pinch of salt. Um, I myself have donated ten pounds towards this cause. So if anybody has anything at all, even the smallest amount, then uh, all donations are welcome. And just pop over to. Uh, the, the Twitch site there, and I'll put the link in the description actually to the Twitch site, that starts. We usually, um, we all get together around about 7, the stream then goes live 
around about half past seven. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys there. Until next time, I've been the Tough Man. Stay safe.